Hi, Chris Dietrich here for the Sailfish Sports Network, where it has been another exciting weekend of Sailfish Volleyball. We're here with Stephanie Kiwi Pinion, who had a huge impact in the game one here today, playing against Cedarville. Stepping up in a situation like that, what are your thoughts going into a game? Um, I was really nervous, but I knew I had to rise to the occasion and play volleyball really well, so I think I did that. And when you step in there, you feel like you're already in the flow of things because your teammates and you seem to communicate rather well. Oh uh, Yeah, um, everyone kind of makes a really great atmosphere on the court and it just makes for an awesome like, environment to be on the court. Well, tremendous job today in game number one. And then we'll switch over to Becca Acevedo, who game number two took everyone's breath away going against number five ranked in the country, Wheeling Jesuit. Just walk us through games one, games two, games three, and then up to game five. Um, game one, we definitely knew we had to come out like strong. We knew they were a great team, and I think we did that. We came out on fire. Game two, we might have let up a little bit, and so we just really tried to push through at each game and knew that every point mattered, and we can't get down on this team because we won't get back up. And so I think we just really rose to the occasion, and we wanted, we wanted this game, and so that's what we did. I mean, you're a senior at this team. This is your final season. Has the attitude changed from that first year? I mean, just with the atmosphere, the approach here tonight. Oh, definitely. Our confidence level is way high. Um, we know we're a great team, and I think we want to perform to the best of our abilities, but we always remember that God's first, and everything we do, we're, we're serving God, and so we always want to play it all out for Him. How about the fans that turned out for you ladies here tonight? I mean, it's an amazing whiteout event, but they were chanting your name. They are chanting everybody that got to that service line here tonight. It was the best atmosphere we've had in my four years. It was amazing. I wish we had this every single game. It was awesome. Well, congratulations to both you ladies. Great job this weekend. We look forward to the season continuing. You realize you're now 20-0 on the season. Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Now we're here with Coach Bob White after an exciting weekend. Coach, you know, mm -hmm. hats off to you. Uh -huh, Improved to 20-0 nice. on the season in front of a tremendous crowd here tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, another just a huge tribute to our, our team and our program. Um, our whole strategy going into this match was to – uh, Matt Sarah Raglan up against their their big hitter up front number six, and um, we had to change everything. You know, we we the strategy worked really good in game one, and then she went out with an injury, and uh, we replaced her with another freshman, Abby Palkert, who just stepped up, uh, hadn't really started any matches all year, and had to come into at a critical time against number five. So um, we couldn't be more excited about what about this win. It's huge. It's magnified. Well, I, that's a compliment to coaching right there. A lot of times you come in as a freshman, and they don't really see game ready every time you've had to interchange some pieces out there they seem intense focused and just wanting to be out there and they also want to be out there under pressure too yeah and I think that's a tribute to coaching but also even more than beyond that is to uh, the, all of our team recognizes they have a role and we talk about that early in the season Abby is a great example of that she practices tough and they give us tough uh, you know sometimes our practices are tougher than some of our matches sometimes and so we know that Abby's ready because Abby has a desire to step up and I think her, her character came out in that match. Uh, you were able to get the huge victory here in the second game here on Saturday against the number five ranked team of the country in Wheeling Jesuit who has just been an amazing guest here at Palm Beach Atlantic University but you had to get through Cedarville too and I know you said you didn't overlook them and they definitely pushed you and the girls here this afternoon. Yeah, but, you know, Cedarfield pushed everybody this weekend. They went five, at least with two of the teams that they were here with this weekend. So, and Cedarville, they won their conference the last four years. So, you know, but I, it, there still was this issue of looking past Cedarville uh, to, to Jesuit. There's no question about that. And, and so we had to dig deep, same thing. And it was a different kind of digging deep than the, the match we just played. But it's still part of the character of the team. I think it, it says a lot about them. Okay, now you improved the 20 and 0 on this season. How do you move forward from what we just witnessed here this weekend? Well, the 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 biggest issue right now is we don't get a lot of time to celebrate. We don't get a lot of time to prepare. We got to turn around and, and play uh, Florida Southern, who is in no doubt about it is a is a team that should be ranked in the top 25. They will be ranked in the top 25 at some point this year. I think they're the 27 right now. They're going to give us more than we can handle on Monday. So we're going to have to uh, with two two key players out right now. So we're going to have to you know just try to 
put it back together, get our focus on the things that we did well tonight, and uh, keep just focusing on what we can do well, and uh, hopefully that's enough moving forward. But, you know, we just want to celebrate where we're at. Well, congr congratulations to you and the girls here yeah. tonight. And Fish fans, if you weren't able to be here, I feel sorry for you. Yeah. It was amazing. But be sure to check out PBASailfish.com for anything and everything that is coming up in Sailfish Volleyball and all our sports here at Palm Beach Atlantic University. For Coach Bob White and his players, I'm Chris Dietrich. Thanks for checking us out here on the Sailfish Sports Network.